What is going on guys? I am Shane from Rocky Powered Sound. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how Say My Name uses this one trap lead in quite a bit, if not all of his uh, trap songs. It's very detuned and this is what it sounds like. I'm just playing around on musical typing, but yeah, that's a lead for the most part. Um, it's just one of those very detuned hard trap leads. Um, that a lot of those artists use but yeah it's a really cool sound and props for him he's he absolutely kills it in all of his tracks and he uses this lead over and over but it sounds great in every song um anyways if you guys like that sound and you are really excited to get into the tutorial what do you say you drop a like on the video you don't have to but it helps me and if you're new here and you're not already subscribed then why are you not or why are you not subscribed yeah <laughs> Uh, cause we got serum tutorials every week, but blah, 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 blah. All right. You'll figure that out later. Let's get into the video. I don't want to waste your time anymore. This sound very, very simple to make. Um, we're actually going to be getting into the global tab and into the unison in a bit, which I'm really excited to show you because I actually have not previously done this in a video except for one of the tips videos. But, um, yeah, really excited to get into that. Uh, what do you say we turn on oscillator A? It's already on. And we're going to leave this at our sawtooth waveform that is at a 50% phase and it is reversed. Okay, it's not our basic saw wave, sawtooth waveform, but you know, it sounds very close to it. So anyways, we're just going to turn up the unison to 15. So we have 15 voices playing. Or 15 copies of the waveform. Um, but let's turn up the detune. <laughs> now you guys are starting to hear. This is a very detuned trap lead so we want to have it detuned in the sound um that's really going to be it for <laughs> the oscillator a selection we're going to go into the global tab now and we're actually going to hit the range two three we're going to move it up to three and as you can hear automatically we completely change the dynamic of the sound Um, we are literally just making it more detuned. We're adding in more voices to be um, to be detuned into the unison, and obviously from there, it's creating a lot less of a dynamic tone. So into the mode, we are simply just going to turn this to super, which I personally like the best. Um, if we're doing this kind of sound, of course you could do exponential inverted, but uh, I'm just going to leave it at super and i'm pretty sure the mode refers to the mode in which the uh it's triggering the detune but let's move on to the filter uh, for the filter we're going to move into the miscellaneous section and we're going to select our reverb filter now in my last video or not my last video but my last trap lead tutorial i used the reverb filter for that boombox cartel and we're going to be using it again we're going to turn this to about 63 hertz Turn on the resonance. And now we just get that really overloaded metallic key sound, which we don't want. Now the cool thing about the reverb filter is as we move the, move the cutoff up and down, it's very similar to moving the size up and down on an actual reverb effect. Uh, what this does is it creates a really, really screechy detune sound, which is actually beautiful, perfect for what we're going for. So uh, it just completely displaces the uh, the perceived pitch of the sound. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna turn on LFO one onto the cutoff, and we're just going to turn it down negative one. Oops, where are we down? Negative one points here. I'm gonna put on trigger because why not? And as you can hear, it already does sound kind of detuned. Uh, but we want it to the rate of this to be very very intense. So we're gonna do that by turning up to. 164. So very, very quickly, this is um, repeating itself. So that's going to lead us straight into the effects section. First things first, we're going to turn on our hyper and dimension here. Oh my gosh, that is disgusting. We're going to turn down the mix just a tad bit to about like uh, 2%. We just want a little bit of stereo width. Um, the hyper really is not um, too important in this particular sound. Um, but we'll throw it in anyways, anyways. <laughs> and the dimension, we're actually going to turn that size down to 3%, mixed to about 30%. You already know why. Um, but 
yeah, you guys already know why we're doing that. If you follow my tutorials, if not, go watch one of my other tutorials. Uh, let's get into the reverb. I believe I did put a reverb on here. What is a trap lead without reverb? Am I right? Um, but yeah, that is literally the bass. Why did I say bass? I mean lead. Of course, turn on the voicing mono legato, portamento. And that's how those artists make those really, really heavy trap leads. Uh, really interesting kind of basses here. Or why do I keep saying basses? Shoot me. It's a lead. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get further into the unison section in a lot more videos because this is actually a very useful tool. But if you guys found today's video, whatever, educational, entertaining, you liked, you liked it, you like me, uh, then make sure you guys drop a like button. If you're not already subscribed, then... You're only hurting yourself, bud. Um, but yeah, we guys, we actually have a lot of new stuff coming soon to Rocket Powered Sound. I'm so excited. I'm literally bringing my laptop into school and working during all my periods instead of like studying for finals and stuff. Because you know what? You guys are more important to me. So um, I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>